The reappearance of avant et après is one of the most important development in Gauguin's studies in recent memory. The manuscript has not featured in an exhibition and therefore has not been seen publicly. It was offered to the Courtauld through the acceptance in lieu scheme administered by the Arts Council. The manuscript is composed of 213 neatly handwritten pages and interspersed with drawings and monotypes. On the back cover, he pasted down one of Durer's prints, and inside the cover, he pasted down also Japanese prints, which we know he collected and much adored. This manuscript in many ways is a memoir or diary, and there are moments where you can see that Gauguin is inserting quick sketches in amongst the text that he's producing. He's using anecdotes, he's using reminiscences, and he uses some of those anecdotes to maybe settle scores a little bit. One key moment described in the manuscript concerns his brief stay in Arles with the artist Vincent van Gogh. And for a long time, it was the only real source that we had to understand the infamous moment when van Gogh severs his own ear as a result of the quarrel between the two artists. The manuscript is incredibly challenging, um, firstly to Gauguin's own contemporaries. He makes some very caustic remarks about his fellow painters, writers and art critics who have perhaps misunderstood his version of modernity. He's also very challenging to the colonial and church authorities present in Polynesia at the time. Um, and perhaps that gives us a, a complexity to his understanding of colonialism, in that in one breath he seems to be very much against that, and yet in another breath he presents us with some remarks about gender and sex and race that we now find incredibly controversial. Avant et Après is an incredible addition to what is already a very important collection, which includes uh, paintings like Nevermore, one of his masterpieces, the sculpture of Mette, Gauguin's own wife, as well as drawings and the series of prints Noah Noah. Audiences will be able to engage with the manuscript through a scroll through document online, which will be on the Corto website. And it will be accompanied by a new transcription as well as a new English translation, allowing everyone to flip through and discover the details, both in the text, the drawings, and the traced monotypes. The Corto will provide an unparalleled context for avant et après as it goes on public display for the first time in its history when the gallery reopens in 2021 placing the manuscript within one of the most important collection of works by Paul Gauguin.